Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Waverly, Kentucky. We are here. We've got the drill filled up. Everything's set up. We are going to start doing some seeding here today. So we are going to start off with our alfalfa. actually move at a pretty good pace with this thing so yeah we are starting off with our alfalfa ground and uh, we're going to go from there I did go through and I put uh, all of our fields to a stubble tillage texture, so, um, make our rolling a little easier this first season. This map has quite the ground texture on it, I'm actually kind of, kind of digging it. Now it's a little bit unrealistic to be able to go 15 with this thing, but uh, hey, whatever works, I guess. Make short work of our drilling. We got quite a bit of it that we're going to do because we're going to use our air seeder to put in our soybeans as well. Ooh, this thing's a little slidish. Again. Going back to the uh, speed at which we're going. Not helping. Oops. There we go. There we go. We'll knock her back to 10. Still a little fast, but it's better, that is for sure. First play is definitely going to have quite the uh, time on this here field. And yes, I am most likely going to uh, let course play do a lot of our hay making. We might do like some baling or maybe some raking, stuff like that, but the majority of it, uh, we'll obviously haul our bales, but as far as putting the hay up, that's going to be kind of a course play deal there. So that way we can kind of focus on some of the other stuff. Uh, and one thing I did realize too after filming the last episode, I did forget to buy a roller. I seem to do that quite often uh, when setting up a new save game so I did buy one and uh, we'll take a look at that here um, in some video whether it be this one or in the next few uh, when we actually get into rolling. But for now, we're going to focus on just moving this drill down the field and uh, getting our march work done. All I would need is a uh, little bit different of a drill. Uh, just need a 1895 with a three tank uh, cart set up behind it and a 9570R and would have uh, 
our air seating set up. And then if going off of our current planter set up, uh, we would just need a 9630 John Deere pulling that corn planter would have that set up but we're actually switching to a 8R370 on our corn planter this year now uh, we actually we just got the tractor we're just waiting on it to be delivered uh, it should be coming this week I believe this week or next so that'll be kind of neat to check out so just a couple more passes here and we'll have this alfalfa field done and we can get moved on over to our oat field first one anyways all right that's that done uh, so we can change this to current being alfalfa and seeding with fertilizer is done Perfect. This is one thing I kind of like about this map. It's got tractors incorporated into the map traffic, which is kind of neat. I don't think I've seen another map that uh, has had that. I could be wrong. I think actually now thinking of it, I do believe that Edgewater Saskatchewan had that now that I kind of think back on it move over and let this car pass so now this field here does not have an actual entrance to it, so I kind of have to figure something out. Kind of thinking we'll just go in right up here. It's kind of a more level spot for autosave to do its thing. Now, while that unfolds, we're going to take a peek here at our working width. It's 13 and a half. So we're going to create a course play course for this. Two headlands, 5% overlap, longest edge, generate. Okay. Uh, new folder, 1890, air seeder, 13M. And save this field 29. There we go. I need to start the other way. Okay. All right. There. Now we have that. And let's go ahead and change this over to oats. Fire it up, and away we go. Now I don't believe that this map actually has a border, as far as I know. Let's 
set that up. Heading, we'll just set that to zero. Eighteen ninety. Here, see here. Now, save that. And I suppose to turn on the lines and then rotate them. Away we go. That tree is going to be a problem, though, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. Okay, that works. I was afraid that tree was going to cause issues. That's really, really close to that map. I'm not going to bother going all the way down into that corner because chances are we're going to have course play running our combine anyways, so he's not going to make that. He's not going to go all the way down anyways, so. The biggest thing is just making sure that it does not go off the edge of the map because that would not be any fun. Trying to get everything, but I'm hanging a little too far off the edge. So, this is the non row crop ready version of this map. There is a version that is row crop ready as well. Um, but I am not using that version. I played around a little bit with the No Creek Farms row crop ready, and I just, I was not a fan. Um, it just, I don't know what it is about it. Um, I mean, the, maybe if there was like an actual row shutoff add on, you know, to where it was a little more realistic that way. You know, that kind of thing. Um, there's just... There's a few things missing from it that... Just make it not appeal to me. And, of course, our working width... Is too large. So we're going to go down to... 43 and a half. back and fix that on our next pass around here. I am really liking these ground textures though on this map. Quite nice. So far, I mean this setting this series up is actually the first I've played on this uh, map, so it's kind of a learn, you know, a new thing for me, figuring this whole map out, but uh, so far from the little bit that I've played, it's uh, seeming like a really, really good map. 
Looks very well done by the folks at uh, Delta South Modding and Mapping. And you can also check out their Facebook uh, page and their Patreon down below in the description. So if you want to check out any other work, uh, check out those links. turn around and we're going to go on the next full pass here to see if my line is the correct width now. We did not come into that straight at all. But so far so good. Seems like we're doing okay. It's the only downside to the auto working with at times. Uh, there are times where it just does not quite line up correctly. So you know, do some fine tuning and adjusting. Should be able to pick up all of these missed bits down this pass. Oh, maybe not. Which is okay. Just shift ourselves over a little bit here. I think I'm going to go around one more time here. <clears throat> Just to give us a little bit more turning room. This thing does not turn in a hurry. That's for sure. Here we are. We might have to top off our seed for our next field here. But uh, we'll have to see. There was another tractor going down the road. There we go. That should give us enough room to turn around now. So we need to shift things down just a little bit more, it looks like. Oh, poor jackknifing. Let's go to 42 and a half. Roughly. if the uh, drill is lowered. Forgot that I picked it up. There we are. Okay. Now we should be good to roll. Now 
I have spent a lot of time with this view. That is for sure. I'm about to spend a whole lot more of it here this coming up spring. From the sounds of it, uh, as soon as I am done putting for sure the corn, uh, possibly sunflowers. Uh, we're not sure yet if we're going to put any in or not this year, but as soon as I am done with the planter, it sounds like I am going to be tag teaming the drill with the boss. He'll run it during the day and then um, our other hand will run our sulfur throughout the day and then I'll come at night and uh, seed away. We're going to do this overlap here so we can get this edge set. And it sounds like, as well, that uh, we've actually picked up some more acreage. So we'll uh, be having that to run as well. Which will be interesting to farm that land that uh, we just rented, or started renting, um, from what the boss man says, it's actually land that he farmed way back when he first started farming, so kind of uh, neat. thing to think about. I just had to tighten the bolt right there on uh, front and back of our air seeder. They didn't have any washers on them and they were starting to wear a hole from kind of jiggling around and having the wings smacking up on them and everything all the time. It looks like we might run out of seed before we uh, finish this field here. Definitely using a good, using them at a good rate, so which is uh, just fine. This is quite a nice tractor, actually, though. The camera could sit just a little bit further forward. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to miss that power line. 
plenty of room. Oh, we missed a little bit there on the end. It's okay, we'll clean that up later. spots that we didn't come in straight. Well, I think we will have enough seed to finish. Perfect. So then we can uh, top off in our next field. It'll actually work out about perfect as well for timing on the video to get those two fields done. Pick this little spot up here quick. Gotta get every acre that we can. That way we can expand our operation, pick up more land and more machinery, bigger, bigger machinery. I did also see too, there's uh, actually like three or four bins right there. And so, um, we're not going to use those ones. I don't even know if they are a usable bin or not. But uh, down the road when we grow our operation, that would actually make a good spot to put a uh, grain leg and bins. Kind of a good spot for that. Is that uh, big gravel part? Okay, we'll clean up this last little bit right here and then we'll hold on up and we'll get her over to our next one. So, field 20. Nine, where are we at here? This is now currently oats, and it is seeded. And we have 33 acres in the books already. So we'll have to see at the end of it uh, what we have for a total. gate for us to get into and even better we can uh, spin around right here we can come in come on here we go we can come in nice and straight on our field here We gotta seed in here a little bit. Don't have access to this land. Well, yes, I do. I own the field. <laughs> Perfect. 
Perfect. There we go. Alright, so we can get that opened up and set to our seed. Oh, yeah. And I'll show you guys our... So this is the Brillian um, XL Series Packer by BSL Modding, I believe. Or no, sorry. Uh, 46 Mods is the one that did this up. Uh, thinking of a different mod. Um, you can find this on 46 Mods uh, itch.io page. And I did the 36 foot. You can actually, um, if we go to rollers here, yep, right here, Brillian XL 144. So you can select your draw bar length if you want long or short. I don't know what the deal is with the sign in the background. Um, scrapers, you can get lights. Um, the paint scheme, you can change from before. 4, 2000, so you got a green draw bar, uh, some green hydraulics, green there, um, and then it switches in the 2000 to 2010, you got red uh, hydraulics, and I think, yep, and your um, Brillian logo changes, and then the one that we have with a red draw bar, um, black hydraulics, <coughs> in the 2011 plus, and then you have a 28, uh, 30, 32, 34, and then finally the 36 uh, feet that you can do. So, so we're still pretty good on fertilizer. We got should have enough fertilizer to get us through our uh, oats. We'll probably have to top it off before we start um, soybeans, but well, I hope nobody was coming. Brakes are a little bit touchy. Roadways are just a tish narrow. Or the truck could be a little overscaled, but I think I think the truck's actually to scale. Oop. Okay. Turning and brakes both a little sucky. Loading it then. So we out of our tabbing order now, but such is life, I guess. I gotta f take that script out. Uh, it's like the I think it's real wheels or something like that. Cause I mean, it would have made. Yeah, there we go again. In real life, it would not get stuck like that. It's not even trying to move. It's kind of ridiculous.
Okay, well, we're just going to reset this thing back to our yard then. Reset. Okay, cool. Perfect. Yeah, definitely finding that script and taking that out. <laughs> That's going to drive me nuts. Alright, so I will get this field outlined and get us ready to rock. And uh, when we come back tomorrow, we will finish off seeding our oats and we will get uh, working on some rolling so thanks everybody for watching I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to smash that thumbs up button if you are new to the channel welcome hit that subscribe button if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video and as always folks thanks for watching we'll see you all tomorrow